the thing that we were really looking at doing was trying to make um, the allied health care programs and the nursing programs more accessible to rural locations because uh, Tennessee is a fairly large state. It's long. We do have some major metro areas, but we have a lot of population in very rural areas that live far away from main campuses where most health care programs are available. The issue that we ran into almost immediately was with the nursing uh, program. We have 13 schools in the state of Tennessee and they all are very autonomous. And what we discovered is that uh, their programs were all completely different. Uh, even though they uh, were trying to have the student arrive at the same uh, learning outcomes. Uh, also at the same time, uh, the Tennessee Board of Regents was recognizing that a, a number of schools had programs that were very different, which was making it difficult for students to transfer between schools. So they wanted to have a, a more aligned curriculum. We had some meetings after that and determined that we needed to um, break down the curriculum into uh, smaller pieces, like modules, if you will. And with that motivation, they were focused on improving a particular module. And they also knew that they had the freedom to either use that module or not. And they started working not only with us, but with each other. And it really created a great synergy and great productivity. In breaking down um, the, uh, the, the courses into their smallest elements, we rebuilt them, which gave the uh, Tennessee Board of Regents the alignment that they wanted. So if you were someone that uh, uh, went to Skills Commons and looked for our material post-grant, you found all the material you needed in the construct of a course, but it was also there as individual elements. So you could pick and choose what you wanted based on what your particular needs were. So by uh, putting a lot of the, of the lecture content on uh, online resources and, and doing it uh, hybrid. And we also did some shared resources with labs between schools on certain programs. It really expanded that, uh, that, that program to the rural area so people who live there could become healthcare workers right where they live. And it, it really helped the economy locally. Uh, and then you had a, 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 a sustainable employee. They, they wanted to live there, so they would li live there 10, 20, 30 years and serve their community versus having uh, someone maybe uh, graduate from one of our programs from a major city, go work in rural area for two or three years, and then move on. So we had so much uh, engagement from uh, academic leadership and the uh, faculty that were responsible for the programs in the first place. Uh, that plus uh, we had uh, employer engagement. We understood what they, they needed. Um, the, the schools all have great relationships with their employers. They've listened to them. They know what they need to do. We created uh, materials to help deliver those skill sets through them to the employers. And uh, I, I think it's really a credit to them because we created what the market needed. Um, education is a very special thing. Uh, the people uh, involved in education are very committed to their work, very committed to their students. And uh, once we had a, a good format, for them to be able to share their creativity and their knowledge and their experience. So I guess the surprise would be is just how much cooperation we received and engagement uh, once we were able to uh, have everybody fully informed about and understand what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, you know, typically it takes two years or more for a community college to uh, uh, develop a program uh, and, and get it off the, uh, off the ground. Uh, we were hoping to, to lower that, uh, you know, maybe even down to six months. Uh, we have uh, a, a huge amount of material out there. Uh, literally, uh, a, uh, a, a school, if they didn't have one of these programs, could, could literally get, take everything uh, off Skills Commons and start it. We also wanted to make sure that people who had existing programs could come in and look and see what we had to see if there was something that they wanted to borrow or use or change and plug in to their existing curriculum plan. I, I think you really have to have a, a true servant leadership approach. We had grant staff at each of these uh, locations. They were working for the grant and to, and to a great degree reporting to us, but they were also working for that institution and dealing with what was there as well. So it was all about trying to make sure that their job 
was e was easier, was more productive. You have to 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 want to uh, and care for each one of those faculty members uh, that you're working with, and and let them know that they've got a voice. And there's 120 people I would like to have standing here rather you know than me because they were all heroes in all of this.